I found out how the YouTube algorithm actually works in 2024, and I used it to my advantage to grow this channel from zero all the way to 17,000 subscribers in under six months. So in today's video, I'm gonna break down exactly how the algorithm is working right now so that you can take advantage of it and grow your channel to 100,000 subscribers fast. Because once you understand the specific metrics that YouTube looks at, you can use them to your advantage and blow up. And no, this is not some outdated information from 2018 when Ali Abdal, Graham Stephan, and Eric started. This is what's working right now for thousands of small YouTube channels like this, this, and this. And I was able to use this same information to get 10,000 subscribers in only eight videos. So I'm about to show you everything that you need to know to get ahead of 99% of small YouTubers so that you can consistently go viral and make YouTube love you. Now, the YouTube algorithm does have a ton of variables, but there are only three that actually matter. The first one is impressions. Impressions are essentially how many people are actually seeing your video. And as of now, there are nine levels to YouTube impressions. The first level is zero to 100. The second is 100 to 1,000. Third is 1,000 to 10,000, and all the way up to level nine, which is a billion plus. For a video to reach level six, seven, eight, and nine, it will need to perform well with a broad audience, meaning that it must be interesting to a lot of people. So naturally, a video about car rentals in Cairo, Egypt, is not going to reach level nine because there's simply not a billion people interested in that topic. But this video by Mr. Beast is interesting to 1 billion plus people. And that is exactly why it has hundreds of millions of views. But the goal is not always to get as many views as possible. You can still get hundreds of thousands of views in a niche that will never reach level nine, and that's completely okay. As long as you're in a niche that can bare minimum reach above level five, you'll be able to blow up your YouTube channel and make it a full-time career. For example, I talk about YouTube YouTube growth which caps out at around level 7 or 100 million impressions. I have never seen a video do better than that in my niche. But even though my niche is limited, I'm still able to pull tens or hundreds of thousands of views per video and make multiple six figures a year from the channel. Now that you understand your channel's potential, you have to understand that 99% of your videos will never reach the full potential. I went to Vid Summit last year and Patty Galloway said something that changed the way I thought about YouTube. Even if your market is big, your video will never be perfect meaning that you will only ever reach a portion of your total market. It is very unlikely that I will make a level seven video, even though my channel has the potential to reach level seven. Some will even be level four like this one. Some will be level five like this one, and some will be level six like this one. But that's okay because they still get tens to hundreds of thousands of views. And if you get the next two metrics that we're gonna talk about right, your videos can also be hitting these numbers. You see, no matter what niche your channel is in, every single video starts off on level one. Let's say you start a new YouTube channel. You post a video. YouTube will push that video out to around 100 eyeballs to see if it's good enough to go to level two and so on. And this is what the view graph looks like as it passes through each level. As you can see, it starts off small and then once the algorithm decides that you passed each level, you get a huge bump in views. But the problem is that every single level you pass, the next level is harder. Because as you go up in impressions, the audience becomes less interested in the initial topic because they are broader. And that's when you see your video go like this. But this won't happen if you have a great video. And to pass the harder levels, there are only two things that you need to optimize for. The first is CTR or click-through rate. When YouTube gives you that 100 to a billion impressions, they are constantly looking at how many people are clicking on your video compared to other similar videos at the same impression level. For example, on this video, I am constantly competing with a bunch of other YouTube growth videos that are also being pushed out. If mine gets clicked on more than others, meaning my CTR is higher than theirs, then mine will likely get pushed out to the next impression level while theirs will stay flat. But YouTube also looks at AVP, or your average viewer percentage, where it compares the percentage of your video that viewers watch to other videos. And this is optimized through storytelling, editing, and scripting, which I actually have a free YouTube course that teaches you everything you need to know to master these three things. So check it out in the first link in the description. But now that you understand why YouTube gives you views, you need to understand how to use the algorithm to your advantage. And it all comes down to one thing but 99% of YouTubers don't focus on it. So it's no wonder that you are constantly frustrated with YouTube. But once you understand how to use it, you'll be able to build an audience that comes back to every single video you make. And when that happens, you get skipped right past levels one through three so that you never have to make a video that gets below 10,000 views again. It's called returning viewers. And to optimize your videos for returning viewers, you'll only have to take three simple steps. The first is simply having good videos, which if you take my free course, you'll know exactly how to do. Second is develop 
developing a consistent thumbnail style. This could be adding brand colors, fonts, or your face on the thumbnail, so that when viewers see your video on their homepage, they know exactly that it is you they are clicking on. With my channel, I like to do this with faceless thumbnails that all have a similar style. I use the same designer for every single one, and when you see my video on the homepage, you know that it's me. But if the viewer clicks on your video and it's not what they were expecting, they will likely click off. So the third step is to treat your channel like a TV show. If you make content about basketball, your audience is going to expect content about basketball. Where if you suddenly post a video about baseball, none of your audience is going to watch it. And that means that it will fail the levels test on YouTube and most likely never see the light of day. But if you consistently make content about the same topic in the same style with the same thumbnails, your viewers will return to watch over and over, meaning that you will have better stats and YouTube will push your video out to the higher levels because you are constantly beating your competition. And that is how you win the game of the YouTube algorithm. But to do that, you do need good thumbnails. And there is a trick that I've been doing recently on my thumbnails to improve my CTR significantly. So check out this video where I show you what it is, how it works, and how you can use it to blow up your channel in 2024. Thanks and have a great day.